really glad to hear. I forgot that story. Tassie just reminded me. Uh, indeed, they did meet during my campaign and said he was responsible for my journeys all across the country. He was the trip director. And uh, it was when they reminded me that they had met during the campaign that I suddenly realized why I wound up going to cities where Tassie was all the time. <laughs> and, 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 and then later on, after the election was over, I figured out, maybe that's why I lost. <laughs> But anyway, that is not true. Uh, Tassie was one of many brilliant uh, advanced people. And Seti Warren, I've got to tell you, and I'm going to tell you a few stories about this because it's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about him. Uh, nobody knows better than I do that Seti is ready. And I'll tell you, I... I uh, I'm really honored to be here. I'm proud to be here with these guys in the black and gold all over America. The firefighters were so special. Uh, and it's one of the reasons that I think it's important for those of you who live in this great city. I used to live here. I lived there for a while. Uh, Peg knows that. My pal Peg. Peg knows everything. So what are we talking about? Uh, this is a marvelous, extraordinary woman, and, and i got to tell you, one of the first people I met when I got involved in politics was Peg Hannigan. She uh, really knows how to make it happen, and if she's up here, everything's going to be okay for SETI and for the city. i got to tell you, it's wonderful to be there with you. Um, But let me tell you a little bit about, uh, and I'll try to, you know, we're about, I'm, I'm the leader of the effort to get global climate le legislation passed. Yes. And I'm praying, praying that we are going to get there. But obviously one of the things that would help is if politicians give shorter speeches. So I will try, I'll try not to, uh, you know, go on too long. But I want to convince you. I have worked with him over a long period of time, and I've watched him and the other jobs that he had, has had. Now, some people have sort of asked in the course of the campaign, well, wait a minute now. He was at uh, Boston College for a while, and uh, here we go. I'm a, I'm a eagle. single eagle. I went to Boston College Law School, so I know what you mean. It's good. Feels good. In the Office of Cabinet Affairs. Actually started at a lower level and then moved up. And in my office, he started in one role and moved up. He was the director of FEMA, the Emergency Management Association for New England. He did that for about nine months. Some people said, well, gosh, he was only there for nine months. But he then went on to something else and on to my campaign where he became the trip director. We had to build about a billion dollar corporation, folks, in about four months. The human resource issues and demands of doing that are enormous, much bigger than I had even anticipated. As you build a national structure and national organization in order to wage a multi-billion dollar campaign, coordinating all the things that take place in the nation. SETI was at the center of all of those efforts. And in the earlier comments that were made about how he brought together the anti-override and override folks in the same house. It is the same way he has brought together people of diverse opinions and beliefs in the course of this campaign. It's what made him of such value to President Clinton, to me, to Boston College and to others who understand the natural attributes of this person who is skilled at bringing people together, who knows how to listen who can acknowledge that he may not have all the answers, but he knows how to get them on the table and pick among them and make people feel good about the process of choosing their future and making their democracy work. That's what leadership is about. And I believe at this time in Newton, all of you know, with the problems of the North High, but also the problems of the roads and other challenges we have fiscally, we need somebody in a position of leadership at every level that we can work with, we in Washington, we at the state level, all of us in partnership to address your concerns. That is what governance is about. And I am absolutely convinced that Senator Warren brings those skills to the table. 
Montana. Just this past week, uh, we had the privilege of being part of a ceremony to award a Congressional Gold Medal to Ed Brooke. And Ed Brooke, 90 years old, served for two terms in the United States Senate. He was Attorney General of our state. He was the first popularly elected African American to the United States Senate in America, and I'm proud that that came from Massachusetts. When he got elected in 1962, Jack Kennedy said, that's the biggest thing that's happened in this election. Yeah. And he came to us in Congress to receive this award. President Obama was there. All the leaders of the Congress, Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and Mitch McConnell. And Ed Brooke, 90 years old, turned during his comments, not a note, not one note, and he just looks over at Mitch McConnell, and while he's talking, he says, as a Republican, we've got to stop this politics. We've got to put it on the back burner and come together. That's the priority of this country.